Hello everyone, this is Ronnie J from InternetRadioStation.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about listeners. A lot of people come to me and ask me, Ronnie, what are listener slots? Or how many listeners do I need for my radio station? Well, when you get a stream hosting account, you'll notice that uh, many of these providers may offer you a 25 listener slots or 50 listener slots or 100 or 1,000 listener slots. And so there's confusion about what those mean. Let's say, for example, you go to a stream host provider and you notice that they offer a 25 listener slot package. What does that mean for you? What does that do for you? Does it mean that uh, you can only have 25 listeners uh, to your radio station? Not exactly. When you get a package, say, for example, of 25 listener slots, what that means is that only 25 simultaneous listeners can tune into your radio stations. If a 26th listener were to tune in, he wouldn't be able to listen to your radio station until someone tuned off your radio station. In other words, that person will be standing in line until someone uh, left your website or uh, turned off your radio station. So that's what that means. 25 listener slots would mean 25 simultaneous listeners. But that does not mean that you cannot get, say, thousands of listeners uh, every month with a 25 listener slot package. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is, is that let's say the first month, let's say the first day of the month of April, for example, you have 10 listeners to your radio station on that day. Well, the next day you may have 20 listeners, but they may be 20 different listeners or a combination of the same listeners and new listeners. The point here is that each day, Say all 31 days of April, you may have thousands of listeners with a 25 listener slot package. What about a 50 listener slot package? Well, this is the same thing as a 25, except 50 simultaneous listeners can tune into your radio station and listen to it at the same time. Now, for those of you who are starting off new uh, and you're basically unknown on the Internet, you might want to opt in for a small package, a small listener slot package, say for 25 or 50. And you can always increase the size of your listener slots as your radio station grows. Uh, most of your very large radio stations may have a listener slot package of up to, say, 5,000. Because over time, they've built up uh, a listenership and they need to have a listener slot package that can support 5,000 simultaneous listeners. Whereas even with that 5,000 listener slot package, uh, that radio station could be getting tens of thousands of listeners every month. It must be understood also that when people are surfing the internet and they come across your website and they tune into your radio station, the average time people will listen to your radio station could be a minute, two minutes, three minutes, and they're gone. And they might come back, but they'll tune in, listen to a song they like. Then if, if another song comes along that they don't like, they'll leave. I'm sure many of you have sat in your cars, uh, say driving on the highway, and you may be tuned into your favorite radio station. And a song is played that you don't like, what do you do? Well, you will tune off that radio station and go to another radio station. You're, you're surfing the radio dial, so to speak. Well, it's the same thing on the Internet. A lot of listeners don't spend lots of time tuning into your radio station. They may go to someone else's to find their favorite song. And then there are those who will actually remain on your website for a long time. But even then, they may stay five minutes, ten minutes, and then they're gone. So uh, don't be confused with uh, thinking that if you got a 25 listener slot package, that you're limited to only 25 listeners forever. That's not what that means. That simply means 25 listeners can listen to your stream simultaneously. Another analogy I can use to uh, explain listener slots is like this. Let's say if you go to a movie and that movie house has only uh, 100 seats. And let's say that all 100 seats are taken. In other words, all 100 listener slots are taken. You've got 10 people outside the door who want to get in to watch the movie, but they can't because all of the seats are taken. So those 10 listeners will have to wait until 10 people get up and leave the movie house. So when, say, it gets down to 90 people, then you have 10 seats available. Then those 10 who are waiting can come in and occupy those 10 vacant slots. So in this movie house analogy, you can have 100 people in the movie house watching the movie all at the same time. 
So that's how I basically explain listener slots. So again, if you would have a 25 listener slot package with a stream host provider, and let's say you're full, you've got 25 people listening to your radio station at the same time. Well, no one else can tune in and listen until someone leaves. So if say five people tune off your radio station, then at least five vacant listener slots that someone can come in and tune in and listen to your radio station. Let's assume that you have a 25 listener slot package. And let's also assume that the average listening time for each listener is one hour. So if you take 25 times a 24 hour day, you can expect 600 different listeners throughout the day with a 25 listener slot package. Let's say if you have a 50 listener slot package and the average listening time is one hour, and that's very generous, incidentally, you can expect 50 times 24 or 1,200 different listeners. If you would have a 100 listener slot package, and again, assuming the average listening time is one hour per listener, so you would have 100 times 24 or 2,400 different listeners tuning into your radio station per day. And lastly, let's say if you have a 300 listener slot package, and assuming the average listening time per user is one hour, so you would have 300 times a 24-hour day would give you 7,200 different listeners that can tune into your radio station per day. Now, those numbers would definitely increase if your listening times were, say, less than one hour. Now, if you are going to be uh, advertising or selling advertising on your website, you don't want to tell your advertisers that you only have 25 simultaneous listeners to your website or 50 simultaneous listeners to your website. They want to know how many different listeners you have tuning into your radio station per month. And that's where this gets very interesting. So if you have a 25 listener slot package, that equates into 18,000 different listeners tuning into your radio station per month. And that's the number that you want to give the advertisers. That's a lot of people. Again, it's not the number of simultaneous listeners that you should be concerned about. It should be the number of different listeners who tune into your radio station every day and throughout the month. Under the 50 listener slot package, you can expect 36,000 different listeners tuning into your radio station every month. Again, that's a number that the advertisers would want to uh, know. Under a 100 listener slot package, you can expect up to 72,000 different listeners throughout the month. And finally, if you should elect to get a 300 listener slot package, you can expect 216,000 different listeners tuning into your radio station. So that's why I mentioned earlier that if you're new at this, you always want to start with a lowest uh, listener slot package because they are cheaper, say a 25 listener slot package that can give you up to 18,000 different listeners tuning into your radio station. So the number that is more impressive and that you should be more concerned about is not the necessarily the number of listening slots. That, you know, that is important, but it's the number of different users. And again, I'm going to emphasize the number of different users you can get out of that 25 listener slot uh, package per month. And again, all the figures that I've given you right here is assuming that each and every different listener is tuning into your radio station for one hour. And I can tell you right now that uh, that's not going to happen. You're going to have people come to your radio station and spending, say, two, three, four, five, ten minutes, then they're gone. You know, one of the things that uh, distinguishes or differentiates uh, Internet radio from, say, terrestrial radios such as AM and FM stations is that those AM and FM stations don't really have a way to measure the number of people who tune into those stations unless the listeners uh, actually write or call into the radio station. And that's very unlikely that you're going to have, say, thousands of people calling into the radio station uh, to find out uh, how many people are listening. But with Internet radio, you can. So hopefully I've been able to explain what listener slots are. This is Ronnie J from InternetRadioStation.com and Rip Radio Smooth Jazz.
Thank you for listening.